Hey everybody, Unholy Lucifer here, coming at you with another Tarkov tutorial video. Take two. Hello everybody, Unholy Lucifer here, coming with... Uh, 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 uh. Alright, they say third time's a charm, so here's third time's... Third time. Hello everybody, Unholy Lucifer here, coming at you from the amazing internet. You can catch me on uh, Twitch, you can catch me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all those amazing places. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what you think about the video. I'd love to hear it. We are always trying to fine tune and better ourselves. And the only way I can do that is with your help. So please let me know down below all the things. Today, we are going to be talking about the workbench. And uh, when you're first getting into Tarkov, one of the things I rush is the workbench. Because once I have my workbench, I can then start fine tuning my rifles to be how they were before and now that they've changed it to where your presets don't reset on a wipe you can start building your meta guns a lot faster so today i'm going to teach you how to make some of my meta guns okay so starting out with the workbench if we just had a wipe this go around or if you're a brand new player to the game what you're going to need for that workbench to start getting it going to start crafting weapons is you're going to need to have security level two fence level two five phase arrays one electronic motor and 15 wires now the phase array the electronic motor and the wires is what's used to craft the workbench security level two and vents level two are what other things inside your hideout need to be in order for your, you to unlock the workbench. Okay, once you have your workbench done, if you click on workbench, it's gonna show you craftable that you can make within your workbench. However, that's not the only thing it does. If you go to your weapons and you right click on your weapons, you can then go to edit preset. Now, when it goes to edit preset, it's going to take you to an area where you can see your gun, you can see the parts that it has, uh, the vital parts, the functional parts, the equipment parts, and then you also have a spot where you can use only available parts so that whatever you have in your inventory um it shows you what you can and can't use another nifty thing within here is if you go to the bottom left corner there's a little information tab now when you click on that information tab it gives you everything almost possibly the words are hard it gives you everything you could possibly want to know about your gun uh, as far as the weight the ergonomics, the accuracy, the sighting range, the recoil, the muzzle velocity, you know, the, the type of fire that it does. Is it single fire? Is it auto fire? There are some guns where it's like a little bit hard to tell sometimes because, um, especially as a new player, you're not sure if the AKM VPO, because you're thinking, oh, AK, you're, you're not sure if it, you know, auto fire or semi fire. And then there's another gun that has a uh, burst fire. The, the MP5, I believe has burst fire. So it, it tells you everything that you have in order to help you go along and, and help tinker and refine those stats. So when it comes to the meta of Tarkov, um, I feel it's changed a little bit. Uh, Last Wipe was a very big Valve VSS meta which they are still pretty meta guns, especially if you go in the labs. But I feel that there has been a slight shift in the way some guns are doing and how some things work out. So today I'm gonna show you what I believe are my three favorite meta guns. The first one we're gonna start with is the Hunter, just because the ammo and how it is uh, we've been promised in the future a silencer for the Hunter and some other mods. Uh, they just, like, this wipe or this patch released it to where the Mosin can now have a lot of different parts to it. I, I've put a wave on my Mosin now. I've done, like, a lot of stuff to Mosins recently that they've just changed and that they've just added. It's not just a Brahmin anymore. So there's a lot you can do with a Mosin. So moving on with, with the Hunter, we're gonna use a Hunter. I'm gonna show you uh, the Hunter I like to use. When I go into labs, uh, what I tend to bring in is just a headset and a Hunter. I actually have a video of me farming labs. I'll put that up here somewhere um, in order for you guys to see what I do in labs. Uh, if I'm farming, if I'm player killing, we'll talk about that later. But if I'm farming raiders, that's all I bring. I bring a headset and a hunter. So I'll show you that hunter, kind of start us off and the wean ourselves into uh, the work 
bench a little bit further. So when it comes time to crafting, when you get your weapon that you want to start you know, tinkering with, you're gonna right click, you're gonna go to edit preset, bring all this stuff up. So what you wanna do is if there's something you wanna change here, like if you don't like the stock, you can change the stock, none on there. Of course, all this has is the standard stock. You have your different magazines. For a hunter, what I like to use, OKP, seven, tail dove, and the 10 round magazine. So we're gonna go look for the 10 round magazine. There we go. Once you have everything you want set up for your rifle, over here to the left, you're gonna have assemble. You're gonna click on that. It's gonna ask you which one you wanna assemble. So if you have multiple in your inventory, it's gonna ask you which one. So you just click select. It's gonna tell you, you are missing the required parts to assemble. All needed parts must be installed. So I'm actually gonna take this off. And then what we're gonna do, so this right here, include parts that you have. What we're gonna do is, you know, we can take it or we can leave it off. I wanna buy everything brand new. So go ahead and go to buy parts. Now when you're here, what I like to do is take owner type traders off and that way it shows me everything that's on the market uh, at the cheapest price it could possibly have. So right now, apparently these aren't available, but what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna purchase this OKP site, which apparently it's sold out a lot of. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna do is this 10 round magazine, and then we're gonna go back. Now that we have everything, we're gonna hit assemble. We're gonna click on our gun and hit select. Now down here, it says weapon has been built. We're gonna go back. Yes. And as you see, our hunter has been built. The next gun I'm gonna show you is my MP7 build. It's in my opinion, pretty meta. Uh, there is some things we can change to it. Like it could have the skeletonized foregrip uh, to help scope in a little bit faster. Uh, I just like to know that if I'm hip firing with this, it's just gonna hit the spot. I could just mag drop and it will be perfectly fine. <laughs> It's dis it's disgusting, disgusting gun. Um, and you know, with the with the rate fire of 950 rounds per minute, it, it's disgusting. When it comes to my MP7, this is the build that I like to use. Um, I like using the 40 round magazine. You have the Rotex silencer, the BNT Rotex silencer, uh, both of the M buses. The M buses actually add a ergonomics to it. Uh, same way with an M4A1, if you put uh, an M-Bus in the front and M-Bus in the back, uh, it helps with the ergonomics. Of course, then a PK-06. PK-06 has just been the best close range scope that they've had in the game for like ever. It's like the best. Um, the tactical device uh, that I like to use, it comes with a little laser and it also comes with the uh, little red area thing. And then of course the regular stock. Um, I like using the RK1 versus the skeletonized foregrip. The skeletonized foregrip helps you to open a little bit faster, but for the most part, I'm just going around corners just spraying people. If I see someone from a distance, I'll scope in, uh, but for the most part, I'm just taking them out uh, around corners. And the next gun we're gonna talk about is kind of my troll gun. I call it the glucose killer. Um, I have a friend uh, that I play with a lot named Diabetes and we were just kind of screwing around uh, for a gun. And this is kind of like my sniper shotgun close range destroyer. The reason I use it is mostly because of these flashlights. Now, what I talked about in the beginning is how the meta's kind of changed. Um, flashlights right now in Tarkov are blinding. They are absolutely blinding. And if you can get close range with almost any gun and a flashlight, uh, you're going to really ruin somebody's day and with this shotgun, now that they've buffed, you know, pretty much all the shotguns and pretty much all of the buckshot rounds, it's disgusting. Like you can just use the regular three by five uh, and it has like nine pellets that do 35 damage. So now that the cone is actually smaller now because of the update, you can just aim around the head and you if they don't have a face shield, they're gonna die. So. Uh, the update for shotguns has been disgusting. The last gun is my little glucose killer, as I like to call it. And it is probably my favorite shotgun to use just because depending on what map I go on, not too many people can handle the flashlight. I, if I'm just like wanting to destroy people, like this will be fun in labs to take in. It's just a fun gun, especially with the hammer. You have close range, you have long range. Of course, the muzzle velocity isn't very good. So 
uh the curvature of a long distance shot's going to be worse but it still is a very fun gun to use and it does hit people from a long distance away uh, being as it uh for the most part i do use ap20 slug rounds um, as I said before, those new uh, buckshot rounds are just a lot better now, too. So uh, either or of those two rounds would be good. Uh, so when I go into this preset, here's everything that I use for this. And here's the info on it to the side. So you can see 12 gauge, uh, 40 rounds per minute. Effective range is only 70 meters. However, this gun is definitely a lot better than that. Ergonomics are trash. Recoil for a shotgun. It's absolute. It's not horrible. Um, when we go to find parts, um, go ahead and get rid of the Raiders. It is a 260k shotgun. Another thing about the workbench is that if you haven't examined the item, it won't let you customize it in the workbench. So if there's a, an item you need and you're level 10, go into the flea market and examine that item once you examine that item it'll actually show up for you in the workbench so you can start using that piece that item that you actually need for your weapon thank you everyone for watching the video on the workbench there's a lot of things you can do with it as i said before uh, when you're building your guns to help fine-tune some things uh, i've actually reached out to some people uh, in hopes of changing what some of the workbench does um, i feel it could be so much better if you are in here looking at parts and it tells you what it's going to change like if you change the foregrip what is it actually going to do is it going to red the ergonomics or like blue you know what i mean like if you're hovering over it I, I feel like it should tell you hey this is what's going to change on it uh, so that way you're not switching it and then checking and then having to switch it again uh, i feel like hovering over it it's it's just a uh, words lucy the words it's just a uh, life What's it called uh um wow something it was something of life what's it called what's it a life 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 thing like quality of life quality of life change in the workbench quality of life that's the word i was looking pretty good quality of life change that they can add to the workbench as we've done done every week every monday uh there is a hidden word somewhere in this video go ahead and look for it if you have any questions let me know i showed my three what i believe to be meta guns uh for this white um of course if you want to see what i use for my valor vss um it's basic standard uh svd low pk6 with a skeletonized grips i can uh, get in there close but for the most part thanks everyone for hanging out find a secret word and if you have any questions comments don't forget to comment down below i will answer all of them doesn't matter what it is just ask away thank you guys for hanging out don't forget to like and subscribe peace out